Honestly, I know this was a movie and I know this is like a haunted attraction, but this really feels like the hell house. The devil! That basement is one of the darkest places I have been all year. Whoa, dude! I thought this mask on, everything changed. We like the dark. Leave! It said leave clear. Come to the dark. If you can hear my voice. That was the hardest footstep ever. I actually want to leave right now. First off, how many people can actually whip out this much ghost gear and two DR60s at the same time? We are going hard today, doing a spot that is actually from a movie that is well known, and that is called the Hell House LLC, which thank you Colin from Paranormal Files for giving us the location and the contact to do it. Um, but seriously, I mean, John also is behind us. He's here today. Uh, and he made us a Beyond the Dark spirit box, so I'm excited to use that. But the gear we have is absolutely insane, and we are completely geared out and ready. And we're also here with Kalani. What's going on, guys? And his wife. What's up? We're all doing this today. So the spot we're doing today is in Lehigh in Pennsylvania, literally in the middle of nowhere. Um, and yeah, pretty much uh, Hell House LOC is based off of three films. Well known, uh, a lot of crazy things happened in it. And today, as of right now, it is used as a ghost hunt. But we haven't talked to the owners yet, but we're starting to think on other reasons on why it could be haunted, which Kalani is gonna say what's going on. Yeah, so just from kind of what I've thought about with this location and what other friends of mine that have been to the location have said, everybody thinks it's an egregore. So if you're not familiar with an egregore, another similar would be like a tulpa, but essentially it's a thought form. So because so many people believe this place to be scary, so many people believe this place to be haunted, you now create a haunting through the thought form. So. People are probably like, well, if, you know, if nobody died here, there's no history here, why would it be haunted? It really could be because so many people have invested energy from these movies and knowing about this haunted attraction that it has now developed a thought form entity that can haunt like a poltergeist or a demon or a spirit. It doesn't matter. It can take many different forms and many different characteristics. So we don't know what we're going to encounter tonight. We are not paid to be here. This is not a YouTube ad or anything, but if you actually want to get the story and watch the movie, Hell Hell LLC is actually free on YouTube right now. You can just click it and watch it. Watch one and two. There's even a third one. I don't know if that's connected to the house or not. Did not watch the third one, but it is pretty well known. And the last time we've done anything like this was The Conjuring House. So it's still unique. And the fact is Hell House was filmed one and two in this location all the way through. If you think your team's better than ours, you're wrong. Get your peaches. <laughs> but in all honesty, our, our team, you know, including Kalani and all of us, we get some of the most craziest evidence ever. So we're blessed for that. And we do take it serious though. I mean, come on, all ghost gear. <laughs> all right, this is it. We're here, we made it, we parked. Here's Hell House and the owners are right there. So there, there is, if you see the movie, a clown costume that you can actually wear. It's from the movie and the clown is the one that literally hacks and kills everyone. So from the movie, he's gonna wear it, which if there is something manifested here, it's gonna be probably upset, I think. I would be upset. So how do you feel about that? You all right? <laughs> I don't know. If you guys don't know John, that's insane because he's been in my Beyond the Dark show for like years, yeah. but he also lived at the Conjuring House for like what, two years? Over a year, I was oh. alone for like two months during the pandemic, so. Yeah, and that's how we all met and even Beyond the Dark started. He came over on, the, on you gotta watch, if you didn't see The Conjuring House episode one, I'm that's, like episodes I would never have even known this guy or even any of this, I would never ghost hunt. So anyways, <laughs> welcome to Hell House.
Hey guys. Hi guys. How are you? <laughs> nice to meet you guys. Great for you guys to meet you. Yeah, it looks super hot are... on the outside. Uh, better on the inside. You want to come in? Yes, yeah. thank you, thank you. <laughs> Just starting off super dark. You already know. Oh, it's so dark. Oh, let me see if I can find the lights. <laughs> oh, there we go. So for the viewers too, who have not seen Hell House, can you explain what this place actually is as of now since, you know, off movie? So uh, before the movie even, yeah. it was a haunted attraction. Uh, oh, okay. Haunted attraction first, horror movie second. Okay. So yeah, uh, we've been haunting here for 11 years now. So before Hell House was made, but producer Stephen Cognetti messaged me and said he was looking for a haunted house to film his horror movie in and he wanted to come see it and he came down and loved it. That's so sick. It's awesome. And that's how Hell House was created. <laughs> now I'm excited yeah. to be here. I appreciate you guys uh, letting us come. Yeah, it's awesome. We're excited for you guys to be cool. here. See what you find. Yeah, thanks. All right, let's get the whole so, roundabout tour here. Yeah, you want to walk around? Yeah. yeah first things sure. first, that way. Oh, all right, let me turn my light on. I got, I'm got. i all geared. I'm ready. We got the whole lights. These lights, there are lights on. So the, our work lights are on right now, what uh, you see. Okay, so I there's see. There's lights in every room. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> Dang, it's crazy because it's a haunted house you attraction. You know are right there. Open the door. You know are right there. Um, <laughs> kind of. You know what I is? just I just remember Josh, bits and pieces from the movie. Right. I just remember so from the movie. That door in front of you. Dun dun dun. Let's go in. It's the basement. Oh, the actual basement, right? The actual yeah. basement. Dang, that's so sick. <laughs> oh, wait. It's just I so know, cool. You want to build up to that? You no, we gotta go. We gotta do it later. Okay. The basement's the most. Yes. Yeah. It's the yeah. Grand finale. Here. It is. Yeah, we gotta build up. Oh. Ooh, things, ooh, which I'm sure we'll explain yeah. Yeah, cool. Okay, so everybody knows this scene. Yeah. Well, if you watch the movie. Yeah. I don't know yeah. where to go, so I'm not. You guys right. go right in. You're going yeah, right into cool. the bar. So this building was an actual restaurant with an apartment upstairs. When I moved in, it had just stopped being a restaurant like three months prior. So, oh, wow. so we kind of came in and separated things off and made it the walkthrough that you're going to go through. Do you want to know what's going on in these rooms? I, I, I actually do want to know. I want to okay. know. Larissa? Okay. So in this room, we we have quite a bit happening. Yeah. <laughs> so actually, we were here a few days ago when we finally figured out the name of the bartender in here, and his name is John. So we have John in here. His name's John, too. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hey, John. Um, <laughs> he's very friendly. Um, but we also have Amanda in here, and she likes the gentleman. So that's a plus so for So Amanda you guys. and John. Yes, Amanda used to be um, a prostitute here when this was a brothel. We suspect it was a brothel. We don't have proof that it was, but obviously the setup is that of a, of a hotel. So right. um, at some point it was a hotel. Beatrice <laughs> is the name of who we think followed her from the brothel. She called I, her yeah, Mabel. Though. Mabel, I named her Mabel. And she used to like move my stuff. Like I'd be cutting things and I'd have everything laid out and I'd go to get the phone and come back and my stuff's gone. And an hour later it's back. Like, wow. I've seen Mabel's just screwing with me. She doesn't want me to get my work done, you yeah, know, that kind yeah. of thing. But Beatrice did um, show up on, uh, she did come between, come behind um, an investigator in here and yeah. uh, yell in her ear, what are you doing? So she will get and we have it recorded. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. Yes. Okay. Yeah. 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 Very loud. Right. That, that investigator did jump. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Scream. I would jump too. Yeah. yeah. So this is a good room to be yeah. in. There's rooms that have activity and there's rooms that have nothing. So Yeah, no, that's why I'm yeah. glad you also saw yeah. us so then yeah. we know, yep. you know. This is a good room. Yeah. Okay. Okay, cool. Let's move on. Thanks. So see, that's something I would have known. I would not have known this was or could have been a brothel and all these ghosts are here. So that's yeah, interesting. It's nice to have the hot spots because otherwise we may spend time in places right. that, that we don't yeah, get anything. Nothing. If you watch the movie, you know this <laughs> the hallway. Watch that. Yo. <laughs> How many freaks are in here? You also now know that they could have gotten out. He could have gotten out, Paul. Um, John does not like it when you go into the bar. He will make you feel uncomfortable. Oh, like so should we send John to yeah. so antagonize we send John? John? Let's send John. In the outfit. John! <laughs> John. I'm just the guinea pig tonight. <laughs> yeah, we're going to send you over the there, and then the other John might be mad at you. Yeah. Maybe. I'll you let like John be John? I'll yeah. Over his bar tonight. There you go. So if you guys all come forward, I'm going to show you. We have trap doors in the whole house, and I'll show you something cool oh, okay, from okay. the movie. So this is why Paul could not get through, because this trap door was closed. Oh. And this is where Sarah dies. It gets drug into the wall. Right, right, right. There's the blood on the wall. The blood does not stay on the floor. It disappears. Oh. So. That's there you go. A little, uh, <laughs> little mark. Right. Yep. Yep. That's, that's where she cool. dies. 
into the kitchen. Okay. Big chaos scenes in the kitchen from the chaos in the beginning of the movie. That's the Puerta Porta. Gate is open, right? <laughs> okay, the kitchen. This is a hot spot too. Um, in here, you'll get Kevin, Keith, um, two of the names that we get in here. Um, hmm. He was a cook here when this was a restaurant. What was the name of the restaurant? Uh, it used to be the Force Inn restaurant. The oldest name it okay. was. Yeah, and then Jack River? Jack Rivers? Jack Creek. One of those. Jack River, Jack Creek restaurant. It was a and 90... Rock Lobster. Oh, <laughs> the last geez. one was Rock Lobster. Was lo yeah. Wow. It, was, it, was a lot yeah. Of, it was a lot of things. How right. old is the building? 18... 48 or 58? We didn't know. We had people yeah. digging for us to find it. Yeah, wow. so yeah. credit goes to Brenda Dembski. Yes. <laughs> she's yeah. she's yeah. an investigator. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. 48 or 58. The land goes back to 1742, and the original name is the Strolls. It was one of eight farms on the original parcel of land. Um, one of the farms is currently under Beltsville Lake. Including, including the original, including the graveyard and the church. And if you drain that lake, you'll get the church steeple, <laughs> and okay. all that's under there. So, yeah. um, you'll get you'll get Abraham as one of the ghosts here. Um, the kids, I mean, they're it's all connected. It's just yeah, we're going back so many yeah. years as well. If this was a hotel or some sort, we there could have been people that even died right. here Times. that we wouldn't know for yes. sure. Right? Yeah. Yes. It's really people dying here. We don't really have that much. Yeah. We know a boy was hit outside and died. Mm -hmm. And uh, there was a schoolhouse here too on the land, on the land, not like the, here. So there was a lot that happened on the actual land. Right. Um, yeah. Right exactly. Now. Right. Exactly. And there was right. people. There were people buried on the farms. Right. Oh, and they're okay. all connected. They would bury their family. Absolutely. Yep. So again, 1742. You know, it yeah. all went back that far. It goes back to 1742. 1742. Not well, the building goes back to 18. But the land. But oh, the yeah, land. Yeah, 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 and yeah. they were all connected. All the families right. were connected. Right. So yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, Kevin Keith, um, we got both those names. He will communicate on radio. Um, you might catch him on SLS. He will eventually make you feel uncomfortable um, and, and try to get you out of here. Absolutely. He does not like males in the kitchen. And the bigger the male, the harder he will try to get you out of here. So. Oh. <laughs> so I was looking at you. Yeah. <laughs> Dang, look at this guy. Yikes. Oh. <laughs> yeah, look at that one. Damn. You can handle it. So there are a few props <laughs> hanging around because I can't take them all. Together. Oh, for sure. But we don't have animatronics or anything yeah. in here. Yeah. There's nothing like functional like that. It'd you be know, crazy. Have little old fashioned old haunters. It'd be crazy if you did have animatronics and they went off like bush and sense. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Ghost I've had it happen before. Not at a Halloween ghost, store. Not by your ghost hunting. We did yeah. this Halloween store yeah. and they had animatronics in this back part that were all motion mm -hmm. activated. And we were packing up and all of a sudden they started going off. Mm -hmm. We were nowhere near. Creepy. Yeah. It was creepy. <laughs> that's yeah. interesting. Right if they're going off when you're not in that room. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Not you would have people suggest that you were faking it then, though. <laughs> oh, you're not that. faking yeah. it. <laughs> but you can have the best evidence, YouTube. Oh, dude, Everyone's look. gonna say you're faking it. Right. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the tongues. Oh, so yes, yeah, so the librarian's okay. in here during haunt season, yeah. and she does cut tongues out. So. Oh, okay, for the haunt. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> you should feel. <laughs> Everyone just wants to touch the tongue. It feels real. Visit the librarian to be happy real. to steal your tongue. <laughs> so this is partial of the wine room from the movie. Okay. If you remember, this wall wasn't here and the wine racks went full length. This is the door they come out of when all the chaos starts. I think Sarah runs out of here and they run up the stairs. So that's this room. That's cool. I wonder if I'm allowed to take some of it and add it into my video. I'm not sure if they're gonna They might copyright it. Yeah. 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 If Look only, who's here. Yeah. You know this guy? I don't I don't think I remember. I watched it during the pandemic. Okay, so listen, this is Hector. He is a big deal. Okay. Everybody good. loves Hector. The piano playing music. You remember this? I turn on it. You turn it on, I, I might. Yeah. I remember every like bits and pieces of what you were saying earlier. It's not working. Or oh. Colin was here. Yeah. There. Oh I remember that. I remember Paul that. Paul sits yeah. with him. Yeah, 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 I remember that. I remember yeah that. everybody loves Hector. Yeah. Dang, that actually is cool. I do remember that. So that's that. Right. Well, doesn't it play by itself too later or no? In the movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah. <laughs> Dining room. Um, so in here, 
you'll get a lot of flashlight activity. Oh, I like, I actually like this room to go hunt and yeah, this, this is cool. This yeah. room will give you, you'll get flashlight activity, EVPs. We've actually had this door swing open on its own. Ooh, um, yeah. Beatrice hangs out in here. This is this is one of her spots. Um, motion sensors go off in here. So, yeah. Yeah, no, there's something about this room that makes me like feel like this is where we're gonna get a lot of evidence, in my opinion, just, just by being in here, I don't know. This room is, it's hit or miss, but the more, so Beatrice will, she'll tell females to go to work. So, okay. <laughs> you're a good trigger object. Good, good. Okay. <laughs> thing we got you here. Yeah. yeah, what would you do without me? Yeah, <laughs> she, tried, she, tried, she tried to skip out. <laughs> <laughs> so that's, that's what this room is, but. So now we're gonna backtrack so we can get to the stairs to go upstairs. All my actors believe that all the evil lies in the basement. I have it latched <laughs> a certain way, and I told them if it's unlatched, the evil has escaped, so no one no one goes down there. <laughs> okay, that sounds kind of fun. Yeah. It's crazy when the workers who are trying to scare people are scared are to go in the scared. basement. Yeah. That's, That's how you know that means real. something. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Heading upstairs now. This is Paul's room. The bed's on the floor here. This is where the dead girl is mm -hmm. sitting and comes and gets him. This is his room. This is quite possibly the most active room in the house. Wow. Um, shadow figures. Uh, you will see things go by in the hallway, rope light, kids jumping on the bed, K2 activity, um, EVPs, everything. everything. It does feel heavier. This Very room cool. has children that play in it, and when the father, who is Abraham, um, when he enters the room, this this room changes. This room, the children will run back and forth it, um, between these two rooms. So, which is exactly what my actor does in these two rooms. Okay. Back and forth you, the rooms. Yeah, so you there. see, and somebody always touches my back between these two rooms. Also. Oh. Yeah. So, um, they will tug on you. The kids will tug on you. They hang out up here. This is nothing, right? Oh yeah, this is just like a human typical. It's a human toy box. That's typical all. Wednesday. Um, Jeez. <laughs> this human toy box. In this room, box. if you play cards. Somebody will play back with you. Now, is there any cool. like actual basis to any of these symbols on the wall, or are they kind of just spitballing? Just creepy. The, they're <laughs> real <knows>. symbols, <laughs> but they're all like good symbols. I would never put satanic symbols <laughs> in a haunted house. So every symbol that you see is based on like good things, not bad things. So this was once a black maze, okay. and then okay. there was glow in the dark, and all you saw were the symbols, and you walk through a maze. But right, we change it, and when we this is usually filled with stuff, so you don't see anything on the walls. And if you do, it's kind of cool anyway. Right? Yeah, no, for sure. Yeah, look at that. Damn. Hey, you know what? This place is freaking bigger than I expected. We didn't even hit up the other part of the second floor. Like, the outside does not look as big as this. Yeah. Like, it's yeah. massive. Yeah, this place yeah. is freaking... Three huge. floors plus the basement, yeah. Dang. Okay, this room... We don't usually stay in it very often. This side, anyway. Um, but we have gotten growling in here. So growling, okay. We have. We have gotten growling in here. Um, we don't know why. <laughs> we don't stay in it often, though. So, mm. so this is uh, the killer in my haunt. This is his room. This is his bedroom. He's really smart. And this is his torture side. This is his torture room side. Right. And what she means, if you don't know by her haunt, this is the haunted attraction. Correct. And the story that they're playing when you pay to right. come here and yeah, get scared during Go Halloween. Go to Walder for State of Fear, read the legend. That's what we're about here. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, Just some body parts right there. So you guys can see. <laughs> a little bit of stuff. Oh, we got a head? Yeah. Not bad. Hey, looks like my hair. <laughs> it's a little dust because we've been working. This is gonna be a good space for females. We have Mike the Magician up here. Um, yeah. We didn't. We just got his name recently too. He's only ever appeared um, as uh, in a cape and hat in photos. Um, he's never given us his name, and then recently somebody got his name on EVP. So his name is Mike. Um, he likes females. He's very friendly. Um, there are children that play up here too. Um, the little boy's name is Robbie, and his sisters will hang out up here. But we also have that um, egregore activity up here too. The little girl Ella from the legend, we have gotten her EVP up here as well. And we've also gotten um, we've gotten uh, responses on um, SB7 up here too for that. Mm. Um, so that's what's up here. And the magician will hang out um, at, on SLS. He actually will come down off the rafters and he will jump on females' heads. So. Wow. Yeah. I do have an SLS we'll with me. I, I was not planning on using it, but. Maybe we'll see though. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody, I want, I want 
I want something to jump on my head. Does anybody yeah. speak German? Okay, so you'll get a lot of German. That's Dutch, right? Yeah. Oh, it is German? German. Oh, yeah. You'll get a lot of German up here. Yeah. yeah. There you go. That's definitely German, yeah. 25 years old. <laughs> See, I remember a little bit, Josh. Yeah. All right, so. good. Hey. Yeah. This is great. It may help. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to sneak back around to go down this set of stairs. Do host me. You hate I love me. how you got the boards on the windows. Just think about the outside when people drive by and they see the boards down the windows. Nice right. Just yeah. so you know, all the boards on the second floor are foam. So if there's an emergency, we can get out. Okay, so <laughs> if we get attacked, we're, we're yeeting out the window. Yes. Full <laughs> body nice. works up here and um, flashlights and uh, cat balls. balls yeah. yeah, so a lot of stuff works Ooh. up here. <laughs> oh, yeah, the rooms put back together. Oh, look at this. <laughs> nice. Oh, yeah, you didn't know you were here. No. You didn't know it was now. Yeah. I see dead people. Yeah. <laughs> we haven't gotten a lot in this room, but mm -hmm. other investigators do, so. It's whatever. Yeah, we'll wing yeah. it. Yeah. Straight. Turn to the other side. Turn around. Okay. Ah! This one. 2C. 2C. Two two C. At the end of the movie, I Sarah, they come back. She's staying in 2C. So this is it, 2C. So um, on over here, I'll just tell you. First off, you have an actual woman's urn and ashes in here. Yeah. Would you get that? Wow, it's Marla. <laughs> I own a storage facility. Uh -oh. We do, you know, oh, you buy right, a facility, right. yeah, yeah. and she was in it. So the people who bought it left her outside for her family to come back for her, and they didn't. So I took her. She right. needed a home. I gave her home. Nice. What's her name, Marla? Yeah, it's on top of the urn to her name. She absolutely will communicate with you. Holy. One hundred percent will communicate. It's crazy how they didn't come back and get her. I wonder right? why. I'm like, I well, wonder I why though. I left it there. Well, maybe they forgot they had her. Don't. Oh. Who, who would put their mother's ashes in their storage unit? I know. That's a loser. Let's do that. That's crazy. Right? What is going on? Well, well talking about yeah, it, yeah. I will right. just tell you, that's she's like, very well, sensitive. Oh, okay. My, my and is like, just, we'll just she throw has like, you can't gotten mad at me. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, so. and, but she will communicate with you about it. Like, you can ask questions and she will answer on K2 and she responds to you. We gotta, yeah, we gotta try talking to her. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we got, we got dr 60s too so yeah. like they seem to pick up she quite to you. a bit yeah so maybe we'll pick up marla yeah but i want to tell you other something else about this floor if you stand in this room or that room is that room open to stand yeah in? if you just okay. push the door open you can see it's it's going to be a new makeup room in there the this hallway you will absolutely hear footsteps Bro, this okay. one feels creepy. It, it's very creepy. There is a light <laughs> switch over at the other door if you want to turn it on. And you will peek. and you will see the cloaks from the movie. Again, that mimic activity. You will see them run back and forth in that hallway. Oh dude, I wanna I wanna hear this, that this too. This room feels creepy, dude. Hmm. I don't know why. Maybe all the mirrors? <laughs> True. Could be all the mirrors. That's really sweet. But it could just be because their costumes too, all the energy. All the energy from the mirrors and the costumes. Yeah, like, like, okay, think about this, right? Mm -hmm. People come here to get scared every year. Not even, right. not even including the movie. That fear just gets dumped. I mean, that's energy just getting dumped. Mm -hmm. So you know what room's left? The basement. Yeah. Dun, Let's go. Dun, 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 So yeah, heading into the basement now. Here we go. Guys, when the lights are off, it's a whole other ball game. No, I know, I know, I agree. <laughs> we'll run through the kitchen. Yeah, we have a lot of infrared in our own lights and <laughs> it should be nice. Whoever's lost, close the door so you guys don't get confused when you come through, okay? Okay. Close that wooden close door. The door, John. Close the door. Yeah, that brown door. Just that door. John's gonna be taken. Yeah. They're gonna, they're gonna. So the latch that all my actors make sure is latched when they come in. This is cool. Careful of the stairs, they're yeah. steep. The handrail is attached. This tape is literally from the first movie. Oh, that's so cool. Basement, clowns, evil. Yep. That's what happens. What before. more do you need? <laughs> right? Basement, the clowns, best of everything, evil. Right? Yeah, and one go. Upside right. down crosses. Dude, that's so the cool. The to hell. I mean, geez. So you said this is like where your everyone thinks like the evil ouch. Yep, be careful. careful. Hangs out. So right, and that's there's even before a reason the movie. for that. There's a what's reason your, for what's that. What's your reason? So back here, there is a, there is an entity that hangs out back here. Um, his name is called. He likes to be known as the Shadow. 
people when we do our investigations or our tours and our events we this will be open and people will go back there um he will touch you he absolutely will touch you male female he does not want you back there if you put a REM pod down here um he'll come out we put the dots experiment up over here he's walked clear in front of it um he does not want you down here he will say get out you will hear him on evp say get out um he's vocal he's just vocal he's wow. active yeah um he's not i just want to reiterate though or say to everybody he's, he's not evil he just doesn't want you down here um we think uh that he is probably one of the original settlers nice to meet you sir so guys we are having a hell house paracon september 9th you can grab your tickets on our eventbrite and you don't want to miss it celebrities and fun stuff yes also link in the description down below so you can go check it out for yourself just click on it you'll see eventbrite also john <laughs> <laughs> Dude, look at him look at him so this guy does show up when you're here once in a while and i know everyone's been asking about the mask you too can own one of these masks they're dropping sometime in july and uh we'll put a link in the in the description yeah, there you go You're so YouTuber. that uh it's for the website that they'll be on so you can order your own mask before halloween nice yeah john how do you feel <laughs> I feel like I want to kill someone with <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dude, that sounds so creepy. That's literally the costume talking. And by the way, just to confirm that, that's the actual costume it, from the it movie. It is the actual costume from the movie, yeah. I think we're going to have to just start this so, ghost investigation. Yeah, I think, uh, I think what we need to do is, is get tell them in. to buy and get locked in. Let's do that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I appreciate it. I, yes. I know everything. You know, what you said, how to lock up yes. the lights. Yeah. All right. Let's get this door closed. I'm going to literally lock us in. I have the key. Don't talk to that. Hang on. I literally got the key. I'm not even kidding. I'm just sweating. Sweating? <laughs> My emotional support Duncan is gone. Oh, literally. Dude. Confirm it. Push the door. <laughs> We're in. We're in here like swimwear, yeah. baby. And they're like swimwear. <laughs> And now you can never leave, guys. <laughs> oh my there. god! Let's start this in ghost investigation. Alright guys, let's go ahead and start this investigation right now. Let's start it now, now. Like, maybe right now. What do you think, John? Let's start now, now, now. See you tomorrow. Um, our idea is, so we're allowed to be inside the back room. This is their security system. There is literally a camera in every single room in this house on all the floors. So what we want to do is take uh, the rooms we want to investigate in, but take a trigger object and put it in each room. And I think, what what are you going to do? So I'm going to watch and bounce between the cameras. And if I see something, I'm going to let you guys know. And hopefully we can catch something good on footage if I have the camera like facing these the whole time. So. Yeah, it's cool because for the first time we have someone that's, it's like go, like the real ghost show. Someone's going to be able to look and see if there's yeah. movement into another room, which is you, and walkie us in, which is really, really amazing so yeah shout outs to hell house and you for that got the equipment we're gonna go place stuff in the rooms now uh do we put do we place something in the basement the, no the base there's no cameras in the whoa i don't know i just what the fuck <laughs> bro i feel like there was someone right here next to me to freak me out <laughs> yeah right right okay i remember this was the the light to the kitchen and stuff whoa dude Bro, I have it on. I have it on video. The whole thing shook and moved. I saw it right when you said it. I was looking right at it. Look, like, I'm moving this. It's not even moving. No. No. Nothing. Dude, <laughs> for the camera, for the camera's sake, turn it one more time. I have, dude. This is the best evidence. Yeah, I was literally looking right at it, Josh. You didn't even move. Oh, it's not moving at all. Oh my god! The here, whole man. entire mirror was shaking! <laughs> and I got it on video. You can hear it. Do, 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 and I'm recording. I'm just like, what the hell? We just started, too. That's oh, crazy. We Did just started. Yes! I heard it and saw it. Yes! Yeah, it was like, do, 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 do. We have it on video. This is insane. So, this one, this is the Para Ace Quad. Okay. So this will actually detect uh, temperature fluctuations. It's a rim pod, vibrations, and EMF. Oh, great. So, so it'll literally do everything. 
Now we're just gonna ask her on, on, on the camera if she sees that. Yep. All right, Savannah, can you see the quad? Yeah. I mean, at that point, I mean, no. Is that hot? Oh, yeah, like right there, I can see it perfect. All right, yeah, well, <laughs> a ghost has to touch that area now, which will be awkward. Okay. But hey, it's better than nothing. Okay, so if that goes off, dude, they're, they're really reaching up there. Yeah, to grab it. We'll leave that like that. Again, this is something where it's an experience. Oh. This is an experiment, you know, we're putting our devices where she can see it. Obviously they're old school security systems in like where you can kind of barely see it, but we're making it work here. I so this up by the bar we all. decided to put the Ghostbusters box here, which That's is 360 also- 360 motion, right? Yeah, 360 and, microwave motion. And right it's there. behind the bar. It's just in case, but we and are heading up. So yeah. if she hears it, she can let us know. Oh, she'll hear it for sure. She doesn't have to see it. This is for the steers, for the ball, yeah, John. Let's put the ball. Right here, I remember in the camera, it shows right here. Yes. Yeah. All right. All right, let's radio Savannah. Yeah, so she sees the can ball. Can you check on the ball? Stairwell? Yeah, I can see it clear. Perfect. And then, Thank you. ask her if this is, make sure this is the right bed. And then that's where the poo bear goes. Can you see poo? It. She might not put the lights on. I don't know. All right, let's go to the bar and start this. Oh, Yo! oh no, I don't have a phone or anything on. No, it. no, that's not us. The phone doesn't even. Dude, we're setting up right now in the bar. Every time we set up stuff, stuff it's going crazy. That's what? not even. A, that's not even like a walkie-talkie can do that. That's. Dude, are you seeing this? What? Walking RevPod's going off! Like crazy. Ours! Finally ready to start investigating. For anyone that's watching at home, just a super quick rundown of equipment. We've got the Epic Box, which is algorithmic EMF based detection. So it takes in all the readings and spits out yes or no. Oh, RevPod's already going off. Wait a minute, okay. If you can hear my voice. Oh. Step away on the count of three. One. Okay, touch it on the count of three. One, two, three. Can you touch that device? Nothing. I hit it real quick though. Okay. Yeah. And that's going off. Wait a minute. Oh, oh no, it's going off again. Jesus, all right. It's like back and forth. Uh, obviously we got rim pods. You guys know rim pods. Uh, this is a spirit box, so if it detects something, it will spit it out. It's running right now, super quiet. So only time it picks up voices, it'll come through. That's awesome. That is that. wicked cool. I saw the look of it. Is yeah, like it's like a 1940s or 50s radio. It's pretty old. Oh. Plus we have my music box that yeah, works yeah. aiming over there at that entrance. And remember, oh. So it, it was, there was something over well, standard. when that just went off, the REM pod just went off again. Yep, again. So just for everyone's information, remember, this was an actual bar back in like, you know, 100 years ago or more. So there could also be residual energy just because of that. Remember, they thought they thought uh -huh. it was a brothel too. Yeah. So they, they said it was laid out like a brothel. They don't know for certainty. They don't have any records. But pretty much everybody that comes in here is like, yeah, this place was definitely a brothel. So not only do you have that bar residual energy, but you also have that sexual energy mm -hmm. kind of stuck to the walls of this building. And then ne never mind everything we first thought about this place. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, right when you mentioned yeah. that. Oh, 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 oh dude, right. shoot. Right. That's okay. Well, that's, that's, that's not us. Someone's literally here like getting a drink or something. Hey, wait, wait, that one just went off again. Something's trying to come through that box. Were you born through fear? Online. Online? <laughs> that sounds like radio chatter. Help. For something danger. I heard danger. Are we in danger? Sean, if you're at the bar, can you come say your name into that? You 
can use this to talk to us. We invite anyone in the home to come down to the bar. We just want to talk with you. My name is Kalani, and I'm here with John and Josh. Coming up. Com coming up. Literally just said coming up. Can we get a woman for some services? I thought it said Huntington when I was here. Huntington? Is that maybe calling out to you? I'm here. Do you want, can you give me some vodka? Maybe. Do you like vodka too, John? Do you do things like vodka? After him. After him. You let us know you're here by saying the word here into the into that speaker. Say here. I thought I said say here. I, I heard you say here. Can you use any of these devices that we have out to give us the inclination that you'd like to speak with us? No. 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 Are you upset with the people who are trying to talk to you? Do you know? Do you know that you're dead? If you do oh say, shit! That's not us. That might. Be dead? Was that you? Maybe. It could have been me. Okay, we'll said, say maybe that was you. You just said John like four seconds ago. If that was you, John, can you walk in front of this music box again? Back. 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 I thought it said back. <laughs> so, no. no. Whoa. That was clear. That sounds angry. Are you angry? Do you want us to leave? I thought I said leave. I thought I said leave as I was saying leave. Yeah. If you want us to leave, say, say leave clearly, please. Saying leave. Saying leave. Yeah. Leave. It's leave. Like, leave. It said leave clear, but we were just listening about what you all right, if you want us leave. to leave, make something move in here. We're in this building. Get. Do it now. I'll do it now if you say. I don't think you can. Hey, oh. wait, that's listen. Yep. That just moved. That's, they just touched that. Is the bartender in here? You. Whoa. Whoa. Bro, that was, that was loud. That gave me the. That's giving me the chills right now. Actually, getting hey, scared. Hey, that flipped again. Yeah, John, a girl said John, a weird boy. Hey, maybe we do a sixty session really quick. Jeez. Do what? Testy? No, let's do a sixty session. Sixty, really quick. yeah, definitely. And see if they can come through on the sixty. Let's try. Can you say goodbye? Later. Later. I heard like. Like? Goodbye. Uh, Goodbye, my friends. Get out. Well, protect. Protect. You. Protect you. My friend. My friend. My friend. And that just went off. Protect. 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 Again, yeah. Are they trying to protect us from something? It said protect, protect you. My friend. Protect my friend. My friend. On my head. Unless they mean protect you because you're wearing the outfit. Machine. Machine? Are uh, you trying to protect us from something? That just blipped again behind the bar. I'm getting goosebumps, though. Alright, I'm gonna shut this off and we're gonna try a voice. 515. 515. We're gonna try a voice recorder, okay? Three. Hurry up. <laughs> Alright. Goodbye. I'll leave something. I love it when they say goodbye, is what I'm trying to say. Can you say, can you say goodbye for us? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I would take that. Okay, so I want to do something first with the 60. Let's go over here really quick. Um, what I'm going to do is what I call the open mic. We're just going to let it record. We're not going to ask any questions. We're just going to tell them if there's anything they want to say, they can come forward and talk into the recorder. We'll do just a minute of silence and okay. then uh, hopefully if there's something they want to say they can come forward so again for anyone that doesn't know that's new to the channel um, the dr60 is probably the holy grail of recorders um, they were recalled in the 90s because doctors and lawyers 
were hearing phantom voices while they were trying to use them for work. So these were designed for dictation, but now they're one of the most coveted recorders because we can pick up voices that we're not hearing with our ears. And it's not just like phantom voices because you're hearing intelligent response. So when I say, like, can you say banana and it says banana, it's obviously hearing what I'm saying and then responding. Correct. And it only works, um, it only picks up voices. So whenever you see it recording, if it's holding red, it means it's picking up something. If it's flashing red, it means it's not. So here we go. Three, two, one. Ending EVP in three, two, one. Okay, let's do a quick playback, see if we catch anything there. All right. Bless you. Get back? Get back. Yeah, Dude, back. that's clear. That's a really clear one. Here. Okay. So hey, remember, this is already starting with protect, protect you, my friend. Get back. Yeah. yeah, so it's literally like something's trying to warn us. Yeah. From Remember she said there's one entity. She said it's not evil, but she said it's very dominant. It can make you very uncomfortable to where you want that's to leave. Sick. That just blipped right as I'm talking about yeah. that. No way. I have the camera on it too. Dude, so what if the, what if that dominant entity is well, not happy that we're here? Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's, let's do ask a first What are they scared of, or who is it? Maybe ask, what are you? Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Three, two, one. I'll go first, and you can go. Yeah. Can you tell us what we're supposed to be afraid of? Who's saying to get back? What's your name? Is there a single entity that is over everyone else here? Who are you trying to protect? Can you go up to the little red light and talk loudly and clearly as you can on the table? Three, two, one. Right. It looks maybe, like we got quite a bit. Maybe we should turn this off just okay. for now. Yeah. Since we haven't had a like a word word come out yet. Oh my god! What the fuck? It said like let me out or something. Hear from him. Okay, that was the box. Oh, it but, was, yeah. Let me out! But it's coming through the box, but it could be an EVP. Dude, still. that's scaring the f out of me. Okay, but here's the thing. It's still Let frequency. me... Yeah, it's still frequency. So what if, it, what if it picked up it coming through the box, yeah. through this recorder, and that's why it was that's so loud? That's why we can hear it? Dude. Yeah, I've had stuff come through speakers, and then you couldn't make it out, but when you play the DR back, you could hear the EVP... Perfect. But I could not hear it out of that at all though. But maybe this picked up the frequency it needed to. Oh my yeah. god. Let me out. That scares me, yo. That's e that's maybe I don't know what that is. Let me out. What is what? there something caged here? Are they stuck? Somebody's stuck here. We I don't know, dude. We gotta ask. Let's play that. Let's play that all and start from again from the beginning. Oh, <laughs> 
That's crazy. Hold saying to get back. What's your name? That was a car going by. Is there a single entity that is over everyone else here? Who are you trying Me? to? Me? You. You. Dude. It said me, and then it said you. Did yeah. you say who you're trying to protect? Yeah. Here's the thing. It doesn't have to be evil to still be, like, mean and physical and, and attack. Like, it doesn't have to be evil to still attack you. Then who... Well, I think we're talking to two people, then. Who said let me out and screamed it, though? There's one of us trying... There's one of them trying to protect us and warn us. There's another one that may be trapped here, and they lash out at people because they're trapped here somehow. But that let me out was clear, and we just thought it was feedback. That God. makes me want to record with that while a spare box is so going. So that makes, that makes yeah. me wonder. Remember you said maybe turn this off, Yeah, no, keep maybe we turn now. it back on. Dude, I've never witnessed anything like this in my entire life. Like, this so, is research right now. Like, I'm learning. This is experiments. You're getting a spare box. So this is a Jeff Fent box. It's super quiet, but it only picks up when it's over a certain, certain vocal range. But maybe because that frequency came through and we had this running, it maybe didn't sound like anything until it was picked up by the recorder. Or it just happens to be at the coincidence, it said let me out when this went off. Could be. So maybe let's just do another yeah. session. Okay, is there anybody here that could communicate with us about this dominant entity? Are you upset that John's wearing your costume? Do you want me to take it off? Is there a better place that we could speak with you in this building? All right, yeah. There we go. Let's say me. Hang on. I don't think it says me. Yeah. Oh, yes. yes! Oh, I want you to take off the costume. <laughs> couldn't tell but there was a like a little it's not like a kid voice almost yeah we got some good stuff so I think we should do one more session and then maybe and then we'll move somewhere else yeah and if you want us to move anywhere else give us a sign oh that's that's from the walkie wait just say the dining room the dining room oh, here let's just go. Go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. wait take the DR give me the DR take the DR let's go oh, yeah. I'm taking this too. Let's go. Oh, that scared me. Oh my God. This is amazing. All right, come on. How are you? The dining room's going off. Dining room, dining room, dining room. This way, this way, this way, this way. Bro, it's like a maze in here. I know, but now we're lo we're learning. Okay, it's not going off anymore. <sighs> but it did though. Maybe, the maybe. footage. So we asked it. So we literally spot. asked it, and it brought us here. It's crazy. What's the odds of that though? It's insane. Okay, All maybe right. just straight into the sixty. Yeah. Say like, would you? Why here? Ask why here. Okay. Three, two, one. Is there a reason you called us to this specific room? What's your name? Is there something you want to tell us? If there is, come to that red light and talk into it and talk loudly and clearly so we can hear you. Oh, we didn't bring the walkie. Shit. <laughs> oh, God. Well. We, uh, let's do this, let's and I'll go grab it. Is there a reason you called us to this specific room? I just heard it. Did you hear that? It's like from the, like a door shut. What's no. Name? No. Something you want to tell us? There is a door shut red light. And talking to it. Talk loudly and clearly. 
So it said no, and we asked, why'd you, what was, and what was so important to get us here? And they said no, it was a girl's voice though that time. So why would you set us off here? Right. What was the reason? Okay. So Should we bring more equipment? Yeah, let's go grab our equipment really quick, and then we'll set up in here. Yeah, I mean, they the literally box. triggered us to come here. It was the most smartest intelligence. So what? I don't get it. Could have been. Hey, wait, okay, what if we left the infrared? Maybe like Spirit Talker or something? Oh, oh well, Spirit well, Talker would be smart. Yeah, I'll just put it on right here. I'm just gonna turn it on. And just put it like right on it. Like, sure. yeah. What if something happens in the room? Suddenly. And... Suddenly. And what if something suddenly happens in the room? Well, if any words come out, it's gonna say it and that's gonna pick it up. I mean. We like the dark. Oh, wait, maybe our light. We like the dark. Maybe that's the. We'll just be in this room in the dark then. Maybe we should just use only infrared. We could. Let's set up in this room. It's dark now. I can't see anything. Shush. Shush. Oh. See? Oh, I'm, shush. I'm reading what they're saying. Now they're saying shush. What are you going to do if we make a bunch of noise? I'll try this uh, little sand gene. What so is good. in your hand? <laughs> oh, dude. You're just saying what's in your hand. This is a sand gene ghost box. Now, this one I have really good luck with, so you may be able to communicate with me a lot better through this. <laughs> this jumped me for some reason. Um, but yeah, you just have to come up to it and talk into it, and we'll be able to hear you live. So, I'm going to turn it on, and uh, if you need any help, if you need help, just come say help into it, okay? Just come say help into this. Help us. If you're right next to me named Help, can you say Help? Just come right up to it and say Help. Sure. Demon. <laughs> demon? I heard Demon again. Are you trying to scare us? Where'd you get that suit? They gave it to me. Is it okay if I wear it? If you want him to take it off, can you make a loud noise or move something in this house? Okay, make a noise. If you're mad at us, swear into this. Say the F word. Oh, I heard it, dude. Yeah. Holy it Sounds you. like they're angry, dude. It sounds like they're angry with us. They're not afraid of whatever you are. I don't think you're very strong. I don't think you're very powerful. If you'd like to prove otherwise, you can though. We've got a ball on the staircase. If you can move that ball right now, we'll leave. I can, he just said. I can, I heard that. Yeah. Say, Again. Say ball if you can move the ball. Sad. Sad. Said sad in the. Are you really sad? If you are, say sad into this. Sad. I'm sad. I heard her girl say I'm sad. Help. Help me. What do you need Dude, help with? It seems like there's something that's like trapped here. Help me again. Help. Oh. That was a clear help. Are you trapped in the basement? Definitely. That's what it sounded like. Star. If What's that? Is that a gun? Yeah, it's like. Phew. I thought it was like. I thought that was like a footsteps in the corner. I had something to. Is someone here bad? Bad. No wonder they don't trust to talk to me because I'm wearing a freaking clown suit. God yeah, you're wearing suits. literally the killer suit. Yes. Yeah. Talk. Are you still here with me? If you are, say here. Oh. Here! Oh, that was so that clear. Was clear. Dude, that was so clear. That was 
that's good. Thank you. All right, so I mean, I John. I like you guys should go to the bedroom because there's been some really orbs moving around. Orbs. Wait, what? Orbs? Oh, everything's gonna go off on me. <laughs> okay, yeah, guys, the rim pods and stuff are about to go off from the walkie. Can you say that again? I feel like you guys really need to go to the bedroom because there's been some orbs that are moving around really, really weird. Kalani is now going upstairs uh, because, you know, uh, Sierra said that she's hearing orbs and or she's seeing orbs or dust particles or something's moving up there. So he's going up there to check it out. He's alone. I'm still down here uh, with John. And remember, we had a really good freaking spirit box yeah. session really quick. We're just going to stay down here for a while because they were answering all the questions. And I'm sure when we go back and listen to it um, and slow it down about half speed, you're going to hear like almost every answer, every question being answered. Uh, the here was crazy. The swear, we both responded to the swear at the same time. Yeah. So, I mean, that's... I thought we heard devil a few times. Help, obviously, we heard a lot. I heard a help a bunch of times. Yeah. Yeah. So, so we decided to stay down here and try some EVPs because uh, we're getting a little uh, communication, so... Yeah, I don't want to leave here yet. We just finally turned all the devices on here. So, from what I'm thinking right now, guys, is like, there is something trapped here someone also is angry here and it seems like there's a lot more than one spirit but also this could all just be maybe even the egregore the whole you know thought thing that created this um but it's hard to say actually really quick yeah. let's just say something out loud um if you're scared of this man can you make one of our devices or lights go off can you give us a sign Knock on something. If uh, if this upsets you, just knock on something really loud, and I'll take it off. Okay. If it doesn't upset you, can you make a knock? Oh, oh I heard, I heard that. Thick, yeah. Holy, I heard, I heard that. that. Yeah. So it doesn't upset you, so that's good. I'm glad I don't upset you. Oh, I heard the I just, knock! I know, Dude, like, was that knock right there, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, I'm gonna make this one. Yo, so good. So, how? <laughs> who are we talking to? Oh, I thought I heard it again. Are you. Oh. That's, I don't know if that was That was talking. a voice. Oh. Go, go away! <laughs> Fuck, that scared me. I jumped. Dude, I heard a girl's voice right before that out loud. Yeah, I know. Are you here with us? Can you talk out loud again? Okay, that's cool. I think that's Kalani. But this, uh, I'm glad this isn't. I just wore this for fun, guys, spirits. Just to, just I thought it would be fun to wear. And I, didn't, I don't mean to upset you or anything. So I'm glad it doesn't. So we're gonna turn this on. Yeah, you'll be able to talk to us now if you sit by the table. Yeah, come have a conversation with us. 1940s. 1940s? That could be anything, but I mean, this was still running. Are you still here with us? Hey, Kalani in the background. If you're still here with us, come say here into the red light like you did the spirit box. Can you tell me what I'm wearing? What is this? It's a car going by. I already want to play it back. <laughs> I know, me Negative. too. Negative. Can you tell me what I'm wearing? What is this? A, a cloud, cloud suit. suit. Yes. Oh, we, we both, both heard, heard it. A cloud suit. Clear. Bro, we both heard it at the cloud same. Suit. A cloud suit. Oh my God, that was so good. Oh, we caught a freaking good one. Did you? Yeah, we said, what are you wearing? And guess what it says? A oh. clown suit. No way. Yes. I think at some point reason. tonight, we need to set him alone. Maybe us go to control center, put him alone with some gear and see if they'll flock to him being in the clown suit. That would be sick. All right, well, let's pack up and then we'll move upstairs. All right, let's do that. So after the dining room, we went back to our base. John put on the clown mask and the whole house started to come alive. Mask. Right after. Hang on, let's just move out. 
I think there may, maybe there's someone actually there there. Hello? Dude, what the f is that? Something I just yeah. heard something behind me. Something knocked back there. Is there check the There's nobody outside. Holy fuck. Dude, something about that mask. Right when he put on the mask. Yeah, Something's moving on the other side no, of the No, I hear it. It moved back here too. There's nobody there. This thing is fuck. Shh. That's a car. Car. Hello? Can you make a loud noise? Is it because he's wearing the mask? <gasps> Bro, what the fuck? Dude. Let's see if I'll stir stuff up or not. Okay, maybe go stand by the mirror. Did you hear that? Walking. There's something walking. <gasps> Dude, I totally lose that. A big glowing orb just moved in the dining room. Orb in the dining room. Do you guys not like this mask? Dude, there's something. A tap happening. or something. Okay, here, let's. Now I don't know if it's behind here. Okay, maybe close the door to the control room. Maybe we need to, before we even move downstairs. Well, I haven't even announced what we were doing next. Yeah, maybe, maybe before we move him downstairs for the Estes we were going to do, because I know you haven't really said anything. Let's just leave him out here and see what. Something? <laughs> Bro, there's a cold breeze right here. I know, I feel I feel it. I'm feeling something right here. That's my shoe. Who's out here? What the fuck is that? Okay, yeah. No, it sounds like it's above us. Yeah, that was next thing. It's like a bonus. I, I think little, it's next to a little pot next thing. Okay, hang on. I jumped when I heard that thing on the other side of this wall. I know. <gasps> Leave it like that, half half. Oh. Here. Let's do it like the movie. Fucking hell. So definitely because you're wearing that mask, John, and because of the whole thought process and mo I don't know what we think. Like, okay, think about if it is an egregore, right? And it was born through people watching this movie. That would be the the one thing that would stick out to whatever entity was here. Yeah, so the moment he puts on that mask, it's, it's like almost like what, if it was charged up or, or thought up. That mask would have been the huge inspiration behind the fear. Yeah, yeah. exactly. No, you're right. I just hope I'm not like scaring legit, you know, like spirits themselves. Too bad. The manifestation. Why does it sound like something walking? <gasps> I heard a voice. Oh, what is that? Why are you running towards it? <laughs> Fucking hell! Scaring me. I hear it. Oh, shit. What was that? It just popped something over here. I just heard... You hear that? I heard come over here. In, like, out loud. To my... To, like, my voice? Yes. Something just moved down there. I could hear it. Shuffling or something. Do you want us to go in the basement? <gasps> what, what the that? fuck? Oh. The what biggest is that? yes for it, it knocked twice, like for yes for knock twice. Perfectly. Again, again. Knock twice, like if you want us to go into the basement.
Dude, the somebody, somebody's coming from the bar now. The first one was so good. I got the Nux. So we got good. the Nux. Dude. Does this mask give you power? That was a one knock. <gasps> Dude, there's something that was, walking. They're here in front of us. <gasps> what was that? What? What is that? I don't know. <laughs> Dude, this mask is like the catalyst. It is. The mask brings all the all the energy. Are you were you born from this mask? <gasps> Holy fuck. Dude, it feels like electric in here. It does, my whole body is like hair is spinning right up. Do you want us to put him in the basement alone? Something is walking, creaking on the floor. Oh, it sounds like it's above us. That's what upstairs, dude. Dude, we're going right up there right now. We gotta go back. We gotta right go upstairs. now. Come on. Upstairs. That was fucking crazy. That is the most insane ever. Dude, there. This thing is fucking on the job. That ener that movement. Get the. Out. I just had a really crazy thought, yeah, like what? <laughs> oh my god. Dude. You can't deny there's not someone up there. What the f was that? Hello? You heard that? Yeah. Okay, we're coming up. We don't even have gear in us. Okay, the ball still there. Actually, you have. I got a sixty. Oh, that's that's all we need. We have a spare box too, actually. Yeah, no, we we're up here now, dude. This is insane. This is our way to get up here. Let's stop here and listen again. <clears throat> so we can see where that where they're coming from. Where are you hiding? <gasps> There's one off. Something messed up my recording. It wasn't recording for half of that. I have it. I'm gonna turn on the 60. I know we've been using it, but. Alright, I'm just gonna sit next to you. Are you strong enough to physically move something? Move the bear off the bed and I'll let you live. Do you want us to go back downstairs? Can you lock, knock twice? Her voice. What was that? It's a voice. Okay, let's walk around. Yeah, no, they're up here. I mean, what? what nothing could ever explain. No, dude. Like, I mean, that through. shuffling, that movement, oh like God. a whole on person. Dude, like it, it truly crazy. sounded the, like even when we I walked up that there was somebody up here. Yes, I I didn't know what was going was on. Creeping. I thought there was someone literally here, like a real person, like creeping through the door. Yeah, that was scary. Remember, she said this this floor is active. I she did say that though. Yeah. All right, we're heading back down to the first floor, see if we can get any of those knocks. And then we're going to do what we were actually going to do before the whole knock thing started, before he put on his max, which was actually send him into the basement and do an Estes session. All right, guys, so after we were done the dining hall, uh, we ended up coming back in here because we needed to charge some equipment, kind of get everything all geared out. And as soon as John, swear, swear in our lives, as soon as John put that mask on, right there, looking scary, freaking back <laughs> jesus all hell broke loose you're hearing footsteps noises as you just seen and heard we ended up we had this whole idea of going to an investigate on the second floor but after just hearing all these crazy noises we just wanted to run up there and follow it which you just seen so now we have this whole idea and grand scheme we're gonna put john in the basement oh what that was, that? was the what hardest was footstep that? ever 
was so loud. All four of the people in this building are in this room. <gasps> what the heck? Coming right towards me, dude. It was behind us in the room. Voice. Can you walk towards us? All kinds of walking. It's literally like, dude, that man walking towards us. Something about the mask. Someone's really affected by the mask. So as we were saying, as clear as that you just heard the footsteps, you can feel it here. We're going to send John in the basement. We're going to give him some devices. We're going to also do an Estes method with him running it, doing everything. You'll just see how this plays off. Actually, what's your idea? Because you don't... So this is something that does not get done enough, but a lot of times people will be in the same room as other people doing Estes, which... You know, there's a lot of stuff that could happen there, even if you're not intentionally trying to make it happen. Okay. But we're going to give him a walkie. We're going to send them down here alone, put equipment up around him, and we're all three going to be in the control room. So if these cameras pick up voices or shuffling or footsteps or something moving, we're not even in the same room. So there's no way somebody could be like, oh, it's just you guys moving around. We're literally going to have a camera on John while he's doing Estes with a spear box running. We're going to be up here asking questions through the walkie. And if something gets caught on camera, we're not even in the same room. Let's try that. So I've never done, I don't think I've ever done a It's a, it's a good way to like do that. remote Estes without even having to be in the same room as somebody. All right, guys, so right now, obviously, there is some crazy stuff going on. But really quick, I just want to say, guys, we just released new merch, the Rise Above line. You already know, we get the sick background in the back. Um, it means a lot if you guys would go and at least check out the store, riseabove.shop. Uh, link in the description down below. I have all my clothes. I sell stickers, photos of my adventures, uh, trading cards, shirts, hoodies, shorts, whatever I have on there. But also, guys, I mean, just give a like and a share, even thumbs up, hit the bell button. We do a lot of crazy videos, and it means a lot if you guys want to keep supporting and keep watching. So if you're new here, hit that subscribe button, and let's keep on going. We're heading in the basement. Okay. Follow us. If anyone here wants to follow us, be my guest. We're gonna leave you some fresh bait. I mean, we're gonna leave you John in the basement. John, who's dressed up as the the clown. We're going in there in the basement. Meet us down. Okay, well maybe we can set him up a chair. Yeah, there's that chair right there. Okay, where is the view of the camera? There is none down here. No, there is one. Is it? I've never seen it. Well, that's where the entity is, apparently over there. Maybe sit right in front of Maybe sit it. here with the upside down crosses. Or put his back to that door. It's whatever he wants, yeah? Back to that door? Yeah. That's what the entity <laughs> 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 Yeah, let's put, just, to get touched right there. put your back here to the door and see if it'll touch you. I would <laughs> never do that, but. I'll do it with you guys here. <laughs> Sorry, I I'm, would a little, never, I'm, a little, I'm a little nutty, John. I would That's never okay. do that in my life. Okay, we're gonna turn the light off over here. What? Yeah, light has to go off. Why? I don't know. Oh, fuck. Yeah, this is scary. Oh, all right, I'm recording. I'm back upstairs. John, I got... Broad person? Getting goosebumps all down my body. Is there anybody down here with us? So we don't even know. We don't even know what he's saying until uh -huh. we watch the footage. Paula. That's how legit real this shit is. Can you touch John on his right shoulder? Are you attached to John's mask? Huntington. Me. Can you try and make three loud knocks? Bear we'll turn on a piece of equipment downstairs. Feel it. Oh, I felt a little poke. Oh, 
on the, it was on the left side. Favorite color. We're, we're up here. Can you tell us what your name is? Huntington, I burned. Help. A thousand Are you people? evil? Dude, I just felt like really relaxed though. I wasn't even, uh, at first I was scared, but then I just kind of listened and... Yeah, that's, that's ridiculous. A couple times I felt like somebody was behind me, but... Oh my god. I to see what happens when we link up, because we couldn't hear you there for the first bit. For Bro, it was oh, so, that, that thing is so loud, I can hear from upstairs. Yeah, you can hear the I can the hear room. them. This place is dark. I don't know. I don't want to stop. I like it just to keep going. Uh, we could keep going. Do you... <laughs> Shit. I, I mean, we could just, just, we could cool. just go back up here and do this again. So maybe we all should do like a like a five minute down here. Yes. Under like Estes. Could try. I'm gonna go upstairs. I gotta change the battery and I can start. All right. How do I talk? Hello. Yo. 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 Oh, dude. Yeah, this is great. I'm gonna try to get less dark now since we know there's evil. Let's try to get some questions about people who live here. What other spirits are here? How many spirits are in this building? How many spirits are in this building? Austin, in a very deep, low voice, Austin. Is John the bartender actually here? Yes or no? Can you tell us who lit who lit up the bear in the bedroom? Can you tell us who lit who lit up the bear in the bedroom? Chris. Was anyone actually killed in this place? Was anyone actually killed in this place? I just got like really lightheaded all of a sudden. Dude, I gotta stop. Dude, I had to stop. I, I like I got like super, super, super lightheaded. Yeah. Really? Me too. But I, I was in a what? Daze. Has he ever stopped? No. Really? No. Dude, I was in a daze, like a fog, and I was. Just yeah, you said like, that. You said nothing, you were so relaxed. Nothing. Nothing ever makes him scared or stop or anything. I know, because I remember we did a session. He was never scared. No. Wow. Well, get up here. Uh, leave your stuff there. I'll try once. <laughs> <laughs> Don't hold your breath, though. The, for the viewers who are watching, everyone. Like you have to, a lot of times when you do ghost videos too, you have to be here. Like you do, you really do gotta be here to f understand. So we try our best to make these videos for you, and you know, it's all on your opinion how you wanna how you wanna take them. All right, all right, I'll do. I'm gonna go down once. I'm going under once. All right, I'm recording this. So one and only time, man. All right, I'm gonna start now. Okay. Too late. Fuck. It scares me, it said too late. <laughs> Help. Uh, what? <laughs> Down there. I'm gonna beat you. Help. Help. Josh is doing his. Investigate, don't. Solo Estes. Can you touch Josh on his right shoulder? We're clear. Yup, yup. I was waiting for you. Help. I heard, I heard here. Are you surrounding Josh right now? Triangle just lit off on my right side as if someone's here on my right. Is he gonna piss his pants? Stupid. <laughs> Who's stupid? Was someone actually killed here? 
Soft Journey Radio. <laughs> Soft Help. Journey Radio. <laughs> Must be a radio station. Do you want to attack any of us here? Or are you evil? Come to the dark. Oh, here. <laughs> are you are you in the dark behind Josh? Josh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> he said it right when you said his name. John upstairs. Next time. Oh Jesus. Who do you want downstairs? I'm getting goosebumps. You. Turn around. <laughs> what am I supposed to be looking at? One. Help me. What year were you born? I'm feeling chills on my left leg as if someone's brushing against it. Hammer. My name is Cliff. I'm getting chills on my body. Fucking hell, this is scary. Can you touch Josh on his right arm? Run. I'm not gonna run. I want you to touch Josh on his right arm. Dude, if the flux went off on the right side. Hit her. Was there abuse here when the brothel was here? You're dead. You're dead. <laughs> really? They're Are about- Are you creating the movie scene? Give in. Give in. <laughs> Laughing. Are you evil? Kill. Do you want to kill? One. My name. What's your name? Can you come out of the darkness Eight. and try and touch Josh? When? Right now. Demon. Oh. Shit. Are you a demon? I'm starting to feel sick in my stomach. I'm a gas. Are you trying to physically affect Josh? Yes. Oh. oh shit. Are you gonna make him throw up? Martin. My you, name's Martin. Your name's Martin. What's your last name, Martin? The devil. I got the chills. I heard that clear as day. Oh. If you were really the Come devil, up. you could do more than try and scare us. Number seven. Box. Long time. Long. Can you tell me who's standing on the stairwell? Seven. Flux just went off again. Do you want us to leave your house? Four. Why do you keep giving us numbers? Yeah. Are you attached to something in this Talk room? And help. 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 Is something trapping you here? I feel like this weight pressing on my shoulders. Ooh. Were you warning us that you were going towards Josh? Go now. Give us a reason to go downstairs. It's crucial. Show us. Can you knock back to this? If you can come find me. Where are you at? If you knock, we'll try to look for you. Your mom. Good one. <laughs> Alright, let's pull them out. It's been there a while. Coming down. Coming down. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Holy <laughs> creepy as fuck. So, <clears throat> towards the end, I can't. It's saying a lot of shit, but then I can't even make out what it's saying anymore. It's like, it's just saying so much shit. Dude, yeah, just so we asked, uh, we were talking and I said, who do you want to come down there? And then it said you. Did it? Yeah. So as in you? Yeah, I don't know why, but. And, and then I heard, I heard clear as day, the devil. I heard the devil, I heard so much shit. And now, now when I'm listening, it's like it's harder to make out what they're saying. It's like I'm not understanding as like I did when I first sat under. Yeah, but that I think that's because of me losing it. Mm -hmm. But I was never as good as anyone else when I did the, these. I don't do them that much. Oh, and I had like a brush like this. Up oh, I asked for something to touch you on the right side and then the flux went off. 
Yeah. Oh, oh, that makes sense. This went off on this side, and then, and, and then, but eventually later, I felt something like this. Dang, oh, you have that? Yeah. Well, yeah, we have that recorded. Yeah. Holy That's shit, true. this is insane. I mean, we might have to come back and do a part two. That's up to you guys. If this video can get 400,000 views, that's all it will take for me to come back. That will just... Right it, side. Exactly. Well, it would be your right side when you're sitting down. Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah, that's what I mean. If this video can get 400,000 views, we will come back and do a part two at Hell House. Uh, but we're going to head back upstairs. We'll see you guys in a bit. All right, back in the control room. All the gear, everything. He took the clown suit off. We're putting it all back into the bags. We're packing up. I just want to say this really quick. And, and you know, as Kalani says, and he's right, anything, everything you wanted as an investigator happened tonight. DR60 evidence, spirit box evidence, um, the REM pod going off, everything. The music box. Actually, the music box go off? No, I don't think it really did. So besides that, everything we have and owned or used went off. And then to top it off, if, if you are like, and to top it all off, we had full blown running, footsteps, voices, disembodied, almost could have been shadows for all we know. Maybe you guys seen shadows. I didn't, maybe I, we didn't see it, but maybe in the video, you guys may have captured it or seen it. I don't know. Point is, it was one of the best nights I've had in a long time as a ghost investigator. What, what did you, what, what, give me your opinion, guys. I mean, with this place, with how new it is, like, there's not been many people to come in. Like, Colin's been here, but outside of Colin, like, we're, like, the next people that have really rolled in. And we've had, like I said, you've had everything that you could want. Almost every piece of equipment going off. Crazy Estes sessions down in the basement. And then you're starting, like, I felt lightheaded and you felt sick there at the end. I got sick in the end and I felt weight was on my shoulders. Like, someone was kind of pressing down on me. So it was a little bit weird. And then I was starting to get that little relaxed feeling that you guys were getting. Yeah. But towards the end, I just could not, I was starting not to understand even what was even saying at all. I was just kind of sitting there like lethargic after a while. As people that don't believe in ghosts, you have to kind of be here to understand. I mean, what was your thoughts? I know you were in here holding it down for us. But... I was hearing some knocking on this door that I thought was you guys. It was a little bit creepy to sit in here on my own, to be honest. Dude, I, even then I'd be freaked out. Yeah. I mean, there, stuff was happening. Ain't in here it crazy for sure. though? Though, as soon as he put the whole outfit on, that we're scary. hearing yeah, everything. Yeah, literally. That's yeah. Dude, I mean. that mask was, seems to be the catalyst. On. Like within two or three seconds, they put this on. There's noises everywhere. We're chasing all over the place. So, and John doesn't even look the same. Like when he puts the mask on, he <laughs> no, looks like a dark. completely a different, different person. person yeah. I feel different. And then when I took it off, my eyes were like crossed like for five minutes. I don't know if it was just from the pressure. God. Of this, but <laughs> it's so, a fucking hell house, though. I guess it makes sense. I'm we're gonna be right after that. Oh my god, all right. 400,000 views. We come back, same team. Thumbs up, share this video. If you really want this to happen, you're gonna have to do all that because we're gonna have to let everyone see this video. Thanks for watching, guys. We are getting the hell out of here. I'm out of Hell House, baby. Yeah.